restoring hope for the future. Every day it seems that there is news of a terrible new environmental devastation, often at historically unprecedented rates, occurring in every corner of the globe. Torrential floods in Germany, heat waves in the American West, forest fires across North America, droughts in Mexico, and the list goes on. While it can be disheartening and difficult to see a bright future for the world, we must remember that there have been several historical and ongoing cases of restoring damaged, degraded, and even destroyed ecosystems in the environment as a result of active and timely human intervention. This scientific practice is termed restoration ecology. This concept is now at the crux of humankind's fight to combat the looming environmental crisis, and its importance was further established in 2019 when the United Nations General Assembly declared 2021 to 2030 to be the UN Decade on Ecosystem Restoration. There are several methods of ecological restoration that are well established, such as erosion control, by various means such as crop rotation, contour farming, applying mulch to soil, placing rocks along shorelines, etc., erosion control can be achieved. Reforestation. This is the restocking of existing forests and woodlands that have been dis- deforested. Removal of non-native species and reintroduction of native species. Non-native species are often invasive and degrade the natural ecological harmony in a location. Introducing native species allows for this balance to be restored. Daylighting streams. The practice of removing streams from buried conditions and exposing them to the earth's surface again. Habitat and range improvement. For targeted endangered species, utilizing many of the above methods help to restore the habitat and improve the range of these species. Although this concept may seem new and the term emerged only in the late 20th century, in reality this practice has been carried out for thousands of years by indigenous people, land managers, tribal communities and even lay people. For this reason, many researchers emphasize that ecological restoration must include local communities and instead use the term social ecological restoration. While restoring the environment may sound wonderful on paper, there are several challenges to overcome during the process. Despite this fact, we can draw inspiration and hope from several cases of successful and ongoing ecological restoration. Let us take a look at some of these cases. The Great Green Wall The Great Green Wall is an African-led movement with an ambition to restore 100 million hectares of currently degraded land by 2030. A decade in and roughly 15% underway, the initiative is already bringing life back to Africa's degraded landscapes at an unprecedented scale, providing food security, jobs, and a reason to stay for the millions who live along its path. Once complete, the Great Green Wall will be the largest living structure on the planet, three times the size of the Great Barrier Reef. In 2014, Pakistan's billion tree tsunami saw the government of the northwestern province of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa successfully plant a billion trees by 2017. Through this initiative, 350 million hectares of trees were added through planting and natural regeneration. This success prompted their government to launch a new plan in 2018 to plant 10 billion trees over the next five years. The Belize Barrier Reef System Once described by Charles Darwin, the the famous naturalist is the most remarkable reef in the West Indies and unique for its area of reef types contained in a relatively small area, the Belize Barrier Reef System was added to UNESCO's list of World Heritage Sites in Danger in 2009. However, it it has now been removed from this list in large part due to the actions of the Belize government, which has instituted a moratorium on offshore oil drilling and exploration, banned single-use plastic and styrofoam products, and established no-take fishing zones. Social Ecological Restoration in Karnataka Closer home in India, these three community eco-development groups, comprising around 50 villagers living at the edge of the Bandipur Tiger Reserve in Karnataka, have set their goal to restore areas that were degraded due to invasive species like Lantana Kamara and anthropogenic factors such as cattle grazing and fuel wood collection. They are trained and supported by Junglescapes, a grassroots nonprofit working on ecological restoration since 2008. Also working in collaboration with the Forest Department, these community groups have helped restore over a thousand hectares of forests to healthy habitats for wildlife, with a significant increase in diversity and abundance of flora and fauna. 
Restoring the Wonder of the Western Ghats. In 2019, a study assessing the effectiveness of forest restoration in the Western Ghats showed significant recovery of tree cover and plant biodiversity. The researchers conducted their study on the Valparai Plateau, which they described as a human-modified landscape. The region has witnessed extensive deforestation between 1890 and 1940 for tea, cardamom, coffee and eucalyptus plantation by the British. Remnants of the rainforest were used for selective timber felling in the past. Since 2000, three plantation companies have conducted restoration activities on the plateau. The sites were carefully chosen and the active restoration process included steps to prevent cutting of wood, preventing the growth of weeds and planting a diverse variety of native species. As we can see, there is hope to improve the current status of ecological devastation everywhere in the world. It is imperative that countries begin to set ambitious targets for the same and we as individuals step up to do what we can in our own communities for a greener future.